Hi everyone, this is Kamel. As your ultimate source of video editing, we are here to share with you some useful editing tips and techniques that could boost your video creation and take it to the next level. But before we start, make sure you free download the software through the link we put in the description box down below. All right, now let's get into today's video. We're going to focus on one of the most commonly used blending modes, overlay. Here, let's use two pictures to better understand how the overlay blending mode works. This is a white to black gradient image with a middle gray and a middle way. Solid white on the top, solid black on the bottom. The other is a landscape shot. When we overlay the gradient image to the landscape shot and apply it with the overlay blend mode, we can get this picture. To compare it with the original landscape shot, the parts overlapped with the middle gray keep the original looking. The parts overlapped with the pixels brighter than the middle gray looks brighter than the original. Look at the down part of the gradient picture. The pixels here are darker than the middle gray. The parts of the landscape shot overlaid by these pixels look darker than the original. When the bright parts become brighter and the dark parts become darker, the contrast of the whole picture gets enhanced. So that's why the overlay blending mode belongs to the contrast group. Mastering the features of overlay can do great help for us better using it to refine our videos. Now let's use overlay blending mode to add a vintage aesthetic to this plain video. Launch up the video editor. Start a new project. Add a video and a picture to the software. Let's preview our source footage. One is a crafted paper picture, and another is a retro style video. Drag the video onto video track. Add a picture to overlay track. Drag the mouse to adjust the picture's duration to make sure it matches the video length. After that, select the picture on the overlay track. Double click the preview window. Adjust its size to fit the entire screen. Come over to the inspector panel on the top right. Scroll down to find the blending mode under the compositing menu. Here we have many modes to choose from. Let's select overlay. Now we can find a video on the preview window. Looks like it's added with a vintage filter. That's how we give the overall video a vintage look but I think the effect feels too strong. So here we can adjust exposure, contrast, and the saturation of the footage a little bit. After this, let's take a quick preview. In the same way, we can use overlay blending mode to easily simulate the old TV noise effect. Prepare two video clips. One is a noisy video like this. Drag it onto overlay track. Then put the main material to the video track. Click on the video on overlay track. Double click the preview window. Adjust the size to make it fill up the entire screen. Come over to blend mode. Select overlay. Let's preview the outcome in the preview window. We've made also retro TV noise, but I think the flickering noise occurs over fast. Let's add some small tweaks. Scroll the mouse up to find the play speed menu. Here we have many linear speed presets to choose from. Select the desired speed. We can find the noisy video becomes longer. This means the speed is decreased. Now let's preview the video. 
It looks much better, isn't it? All right, now we have reached the end of today's video about the overlay blending mode in Video Prog Flagger. I think I've got it. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe if you haven't yet. We will see you in our next tips. Hope you enjoy. Bye.